She's mediocre, really. Of all the ochres, she's the meatiest. What do you think of Dan? Oh, Dan is a shit. Do you want to expand on that? When you first meet him, you think, surely to God, this man can't be as big a shit as he seems, but he is. See, it's like if I... there were a book with covers made of shit, you'd think, that's intriguing. I wonder what's in this book that they saw fit to give it covers made of pure shit. And then you open it and shit. I don't have time to ignore you, Jonah. Gary, could you please ignore Jonah for me? What do you want, Jonah? And you, you gay Irish fireman, you, you're okay. But you, you I do not like. You are like a, a earlobe. You're just there, just wobbling. And as regards to the rift rumors, I'll keep my ear to the ground for you. Be careful your ears don't pop on the way down. You guys, are we seriously gonna let the guy with the police sketch face of a rapist tell us what to do? Oh, this rapist face gets eight. Consensually, I might throw in. Look who it is, everybody. It's your favorite Jonah. You're not even your mom's favorite Jonah, Jonah. My nicknames? Gary, what are my nicknames? There's, there's just... There's just some nicknames that it's necessary for us to search on to kind of pick up on blog coverage. But, I mean, like what? Mamory Meyer. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah. Grizzly Madam, She-Ra, Meyer the Liar, The Bat Cave, Piss Face. Wicked Witch of the West Wing, Veep Throat, Voldemeyer, Dickless Van Dyke, Tawdry Hepburn, Blunder Woman, Selena Meh. Piss Face? Huh? No, not that one. <laughs> Vaselina. Betty Poop. People attack you because they think you're beautiful and you're smart. You got the most nicknames when you were on the cover of Vogue. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. They were yeah. just jealous. Remember that? Yes. They called you Goofy Smile. Well, it's well, like that. Was, yeah. Did your boyfriend know anything about this? I was trying to use Jonah for intelligence. That's like trying to use a croissant as a fucking dildo. I thought. That... No, no, no. Let me be more clear. It doesn't do the job, and it makes a fucking mess. Okay, everybody, please come into my office. The White House is in the house. Everybody say, way yo. Skyscraper of shit has arrived. Bob Lewis has got emphysema. Sounds like a broken down leaf blower. He does. <laughs> that is an actually uncanny impression <laughs> of him. Uh, it's a tough time, we're aware. Do you want to know how toxic she is, Amy? Imagine something small has crawled up a dead cow's ass and then that small thing actually dies itself. If that dead thing then farted out a sack of eggs, but each individual egg is a smaller, rotting dead thing, that's how toxic she is. I know how to give a motherfucking speech. Don't you patronize me with your no jaw, you congressman, no jaw! No, 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 you gotta, you gotta move that back. I'm not gonna have you eyeballing me all day. That's, all that's right. not gonna go right there. Relax, cow eyes, or I'm not gonna be sitting here looking at your cow eyes the whole time. He is cold. Yeah, he's got ice in his semen. You haven't seen a lipstick lying around, have you? Oh, yeah, it's in the office next to your clonopin and feminine itch powder. You can trust me and the people of Ohio. I think there's going to be quite a few surprises tonight. Isn't that the catchphrase of the world's creepiest babysitter? Speaking of creepy, Kent Davison is back. Kent Davison? The pole pot of pie charts, wow. You can't reason with him. It'd be like explaining super tramp to a Komodo dragon. I don't know what those words mean. Mike, are you in the middle of some sort of aneurysm? It was an accident, okay? Much like when Bigfoot got your mom pregnant, resulting in you. Nice wheels, Mike. This is it new? Not quite. Like your mother, it's been previously loved and paid for by a couple of guys. But I need to talk to that autistic lumberjack son of a bitch. Oh, there he is. Hi, Ken. Madam Vice President. POTUS wants me to monitor U.S. hay as kind of my pet project. Oh, for fuck's sakes. This must be the first pet project of yours that didn't involve resorting to chloroform. Yeah? Well, go shit yourself, long, tall Sally. Oh, look what we have here. Not only Ginger Rogers, but also Ginger Rogers. <sighs> nice joke construction, sir. Stop trying to polish my dick, you fucking four-eyed failure. You know, you're about as annoying as a condom filled with fire ants. How's that for a fucking metaphor? It's a simile, sir. Shut your mouth, you fat girl. Miss America, yeah. I've been scratching my eyebrows for three and a half fucking hours. Where have you been? <laughs> Amy and I just weren't compatible. Right. It turns out I can't mate with anyone outside my species. And here he is, the man who can't take a leak without pulling his balls. Bring me my cerise-colored binder, Juno. Photoshop it in. I can't airbrush history, ma'am. I'm not Joseph Stalin. No, no, that's true. You're not. You don't have a tenth of his charm. Uh, oh, so now I have to have Dan and Mike, Rogers and Hammer shit come up with a new song in an afternoon? We can laugh at ourselves. <laughs> what are you laughing about, jolly green jizz face? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. God damn, why are you even here? You still pissed you can't get in with Kent? 
Nobody can. He's half robot, half robot. He's a robot. Wow. Don't give me that Quaker in a titty bar look. Seriously, don't. All this melodrama really explains your three divorces. Well, I'd like to divorce your head from your fucking neck. And uh, d don't make any jokes, OK, Dan? Because with your face, when you attempt to be charming, it really does come off as, as evil. Yeah. Jonah, you're not even a man. You're like an early draft of a man, where they just sketched out a giant mangled skeleton, but they didn't have time to add details like pigment or self-respect. You're Frankenstein's monster if his monster was made entirely of dead dicks. It's between you and me. Without me, this office will implode. Carrie, the Secret Service is calling you Girly Shirley Temple. Oh, God, there's no way I'm going to fit in here. Well, it's bigger than your mother's womb, and you were in there until you were 15. Oh. oh. God, I hope Iran drops a nuke on DC. Ooh. Wouldn't that solve a lot of issues? Except Kent wouldn't go anywhere. He'd still be around. It's like an undead cockroach with his... <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He's got that blank look. I bet he doesn't even have a cum face. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine, sir. Yeah, of course you do, Jonah. You don't get the complexity. You're the world's biggest single cell organism. All right, let's get this over with ASAP. It's not going to be easy with this big gangly piss flap over here. It moves like, hey, what do you move like, Will? I move as slowly as a Mississippi detective investigating the murder of a young black man. That's right. I really don't have any need for you, Mike. You're kind of obsolete. You're like a Viking stuck in time. Hey, could I have my yogurt, please? Oh, yeah. Yes. OK, don't eat it too fast. Oh, the last stop day. it. Nervous Nelly. That, where did you hear this rumor? Oh, I heard oh, it goodness. from the gingerhead man. The gash with the stash, McClintock. What, are you kidding me? Mike, Mike sees it. knowledge as the enemy. Forget about that. Hey, it's Jay Diddy. Ladies, get giddy. Jonah, hey, listen, uh, settle something for me. Okay. You like to have sex and you like to travel? Yes, ma'am. Then you can. Come on, Wilbo Faggins, let's go. Look at you, Dan. You have more nervous tics than a shoe bomber. Well, then what is Wendy doing in the photo, Mike? She doesn't work there, does she? Jonah, no. what's the point? You don't show up in photographs. Remember that Jonah guy? Jonah. Oh, the seven-foot mouth? Yeah. Hey, Hepatitis J. Oh, uh, Jonah knows we opened a campaign office. He came by my house, Wendy's house. You let that unstable piece of human scaffolding into your house? Sue. Sue-ster. Sue of Steel. Sue, Sue Studio. Jonah, get off the line and then the planet. Look at that pile of elbows. Look at this, number one. You know what I mean? They think they're kings of America. Okay, well, in a way they are. No, they're not. OK, mm, I take your point. I know you're walking around here like your C-3PO with a big, brass, shiny erection. But I got news for you. This is kindergarten for cyber brats. Jonah with money. God almighty, it's like if Hitler could fly. I you speak the truth to power, Mr. Truth Power Talker. You know, Dan, watching you try to be nice is like watching a baby smoke a cigarette. It's kind of cool, but also very disturbing. I just wanted to say I'm sorry if I wasn't very sympathetic to your, you know, mental head issues. So uh, I'm sorry. Friends? Go fuck yourself, Jack and the Giant Freak Stock. Your team lost, and you should be fitted with a leper bell, you sinking shit. Ma'am, secondary Maddox would like a meeting stat. No, stat. He's useless. He's a one-inch cock. The only unthinkable thing is that anything is unthinkable. Oh, Kent majored in fortune cookies. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lassie's trying to tell us something. Military industrial complex. These are the president's flying monkeys. Is this about the submarine jobs? Ten fucking points to Elsa the Ice Queen. Shall we recalibrate our language, Roger? It's Congressman Furlong to you, Gray Elvis. So take the periscope out of your asses and look at the warhead of shit that's coming at you. Hey, Dabby, the house elf. We've had enough. Just get out. OK. Hi, Ben. What's with that deputy dog face you got going? Hurry up. How come you type with only two fingers? You're not a sloth. He's the TV face of the administration. But he's glued Cheetos to that face. State dinner this evening. He looks like and Yosemite Sam. Yeah, without the credibility. You just go make the room pretty. I.e., the opposite of that fucking monstrosity. What is that, Picasso's heavy period? Whoa. Gary, you look whiter than a Georgia country club. What? what the hell is wrong, Gary? You really need to tell her. So, you know, you know it's not as easy as that. Gary, your inner child needs to grow an outer man. Hey, preppy longstocking. Who do you think you are? Gary Antoinette? Did somebody make you first lady? Because I don't remember marrying you, Gary. I don't remember fucking you in Niagara Falls. I think I'd remember that. And you have suckered on to me like some sort of a car window Garfield. You are not a big shot, Gary. 
You're a middle-aged man who sanitizes my tweezers. Okay, Dan, go sacrifice a virgin. Just another Saturday night. That's not funny, Amy. What? Why not? What if I cried? Like the women do in movies. Wouldn't work. You're talking to a guy who once broke off an engagement at an Applebee's and then ordered dessert. Jonah? Yes, ma'am. I've been fattening him up for just this occasion. You know, plus, he's got that whole, you know, inherently guilty look. You know, that kind of surprised masturbator face that... Yeah, he does. Do it. Get rid of him. Throw him under a bus. If you can find one that's long enough. Hey, I am Groot. Stop swapping spit here with Pretty Woman and get me Brock and Hunter. Uh, Mr. Ryan, so they were out of tuna melts, so I improvised, and I got you this lobster curry roll. All right, look, zip it, Jeeves. Oh, look at Doyle. Did he have his teeth capped? Oh, my God. The last surviving golden girl. <laughs> Leon? Oh, God, no. He is the asshole of an asshole's asshole. But, I have seen a salmon in a grizzly's mouth look less panicky than that. <laughs> Where's Kent? I don't know. Maybe he's bitten off his tracking device. Should be. I'm really scared, Sue. Man up, Gary. Or at least lady down a bit. Gary and Mike have been left behind in Iran. Wonderful. It's Black Hawk Down with Laurel and Hardy. Karen, what do you think of Pierce? Well, I think um, there are pros and cons to every candidate, so we just need to weigh up the pros and cons. Have you been sent from the future to destroy me? Because it's working! I think that each candidate has merits and demerits, and I don't know my left butt cheek from my right butt cheek, but I believe in listening to both butt cheeks and then farting out my asshole mouth. Oh. You have two settings, no decision and bad decision. I wouldn't let you run a bath without having the Coast Guard and the fire department standing by, but yet here you are running America. You are the worst thing that has happened to this country since food in buckets and maybe slavery. All right, you need to calm down. Go to a spa, take a Pilates class, go to a fucking church, find someone there that has some Valium and take four of them. I mean, no offense, Mensu, but when it's just you and me, it's like it's just me. I had not anticipated this. This I had not anticipated. Well, that sounds like the world's worst Dr. Seuss book. Jesus Christ, Bill, you're shaking like a dog shit in a peach pit. Well, I gotta take a gigantic whiz. Man, the siege stuff goes straight to my bladder. It's like if dogs could talk. And so you're the best the White House has to offer? Yes, sir. Two giant children in their dad's suits. Wait, you met with John Ryan? Six foot waxwork and his cuddly boyfriend? I am surprised the two of you even found your way out of your own mother's vaginas. Get out of my car! Look, you think I want to be in this fucking Minecraft piece of shit? I am an emissary of the president, and I demand that you get out of my car! You colossal fucking fanny pack! You don't get it, do you? You're parasites. You're like an infestation of mediocrity. I don't care if you're a 1950s radio broadcaster. You're a fozzy bear that's been ripped up and used to smuggle heroin. A Nazi doctor. I don't even know what the fuck you are. He even walks dumb. Every time I see him, I hear circus music. Come on, Owen. It's your time to shine, you dim fucking bulb. I will work on putting forward a new streamlined family's first bill before Congress in the near future. Making she sounds like an underwater Bob Dylan. Forgive me for laughing at the notion. Uh, Gary Wallace, you need to understand, is a 12-year-old boy trapped in the body a 12-year-old girl. Amy looks off her game, distracted. I only really know Amy as the woman who rushed everywhere, clutching her phone like it contained her frozen embryos. Oh, Brian can't be president. He's still contracted to be the KFC logo. Yeah. Well, then please, go. Some of our viewers were complaining that you're shrill anyway, so... Oh, shrill? No, no, I'm never shrill. And that's... Oh, and, and you're acting as though I'm sounding shrill right now? Yeah. Yeah, keep making that face, ah. implying that I'm shrill. Hey, could someone check the parking lot? I think all the alarms are going off. No, I'm helping you here. There is no need to be shrill, Miss Brokhammer. Shrill? Mm. Do you recall a document shared on the J Drive titled The Jonad Files? Uh, no, no, ma'am. No, that doesn't ring a bell. So it's not a word combining Jonah and gonad? That is exactly what it is, and Mr. Egan knows that. In fact, Mr. Egan, I was told that you encourage staffers to add to this glossary of abuse. I do not, uh, at this moment in time, recall the action, uh, nor the uh, document. Okay, maybe this action. will jog your memory. We have some extracts. J-Rock, Jizzy Gillespie, Jack and the Giant Jackoff, Galeon, Tinkerballs, Wadzilla, One Erection. Do we have to go through all of these? I'm not sure that I see the relevance. The witnesses claim they held their former colleague in high regard, and I am attempting to prove otherwise. Okay, yeah, sure, no, you can proceed. 
The Pointless Giant, The Sixty-Foot Virgin, Chimpanzee, Jonah Ono, Hagrid's Nutsack, Scrotum Pole, Transgender Formers, Twelve Years a Slave to Jerking Off, Benedict Come in His Own Hand, Guy Scraper, The Cloud Botherer, Supercalifragilistic Expialy Dick Cheese, Teenage Mutant Ninja Asshole, Spubaca. Uh, my college friends called me uh, Tall McCartney. 